Proportion Exercises and Problems Exercise 1 a. In each of the following cases, determine the case of proportion and write in each case the algebraic relation between the two quantities. We notice from the above table, it is a case of proportion of fixed constant, 5. The relation is y equals a, times x, thus for the first value, 5 equals a, times 1, then a, equals 5. b. We notice from the above table, it is a case of proportion of fixed constant, 60. The relation is y equals a, times x, thus for the first value, 600 equals a, times 10, then a, equals 60. c. The relation is v equals a, times u, thus for the first value, 16 equals a, times 8, then a, equals 2. Also the second column is true for u equals 10 and v equals 20. v equals 2 times 10 equals 20. But we notice in the third column, the relation is not fulfilled because u equals 12 v equals 2u, v equals 2 by 12 equals 24 and not 25 like in the table. So we conclude that this table is not a proportion. d. The relation is p equals a, times k, thus for the first value, 18,000 equals a, times 6 then, a, equals 3,000. If we go through values of all columns we can see it still fulfill the relation. Thus this table represent a proportion. Exercise 2. In each of the following cases, make a graphic representation of the given proportional relation. A. P equals 5 times S. For a value of S equals 1 we can draw a graphic representation. With P equals 5. B. M equals 30 times M. For a value of N equals 1 we can draw a graphic representation. With M equals 30. C. Y equals 8X. For a value of X equals 1 we can draw a graphic representation with y equals 8. d. v equals 1.5t. For a value of t equals 1 we can draw a graphic representation. With v equals 1.5. Exercise 3. In each of the following cases, plot the points whose coordinates are given in the table, in the indicated system of axes, and deduce if it is a case of proportion. We notice from the graph that the points of coordinates are not on a straight line. Hence, this is not a case of proportion. B. The answer is. We notice from the graph that the points of coordinates are a straight line and passes through the origin. Hence, this is a clear case of proportion. C. According to the graph, the points of coordinates are passing through the origin and on a straight line. Hence, this is a clear case of proportion. D. The answer is, we notice from the graph that the points of coordinates are not on a straight line. The line passes through the origin, also passes by the coordinate minus 1 and minus 1, also 1 and 2, but it does not pass through 3 and 9, also 4 and 16, so this is not a case of proportion. Now it's your turn to solve the rest of the exercises and problems. For any questions write in the comments or email me at beirutacademy1 at gmail.com. End of exercises. Kindly subscribe and invite your friends. Invite all your friends in order to encourage me to continue.